Hey guys, Eclipse14 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario RPG. Alright, this next entire area is completely optional, and I think it's just going to be a full just loop around because it requires some backtracking, but we're going to do it anyway, mostly for larger completion purposes. So, what we have to do is, I kind of uh, fizzled out a little here at the end, but we're going to take this little path, and right in here is a little cave that we can jump into. Just jump right there, get it correct, and here we are in this little cave. Now, there's a lot of enemies here, and I am going to fight all of them for the purpose of experience. And we're starting off with this. Alright, I guess we'll uh, start off with our bulb here. So yeah, this entire part is totally optional, but uh, if you're going for hidden treasures, you do have to go through here. And the reward does cause some backtracking, but it's a little profitable. So, we are going to do it. Plus, uh, all the experience helps. <laughs> so, we'll take that one out with relative ease. Now we got this. Oh, Christ. This one. I'm going to do Snowy. Figure uh, Thunderbolt might did something. See if that, uh... Well, that's not terrible. Gek. Yeah, could still get absolutely destroyed. The others seem to have some resistance. So, um... I'm just gonna jump on the uh, shy away. And take care of that. I figure I can get the rest pretty easily. Because, uh... Enemies are kind of a joke. Alright, so that one's out with uh, another 22. And right up here, just tap, jump right here, then jump, and there's a frog coin. Cool stuff. Go right here, and oh. A uh, griffin. Hmm, interesting. Alright, I'm gonna Thunderbolt. I've got a little resistance to thunder. I'm gonna jump on you and handle things. Keep it sick and bad. Hmm. Okay, so. Yeah, it had some resistance to thunder, so I figure at least play it safe. Anyway, move on ahead, and there is a chow right there. Let's take him out. And uh, we got these guys to do it. Oh, great. Silence. So much for jumping. you away, and uh, at least that gives me the opportunity to not have a, uh, um, I'm not sure if I even showed it in the last episode, but, uh, those Octavarius have a complete immunity to Thunder. That's why I avoid using Thunderbolt. So anyway, get in this little area, and there's your next hidden treasure with a frog coin. So, that one's out of the picture. So, Go ahead and head down this direction. There's still lots of enemies to fight. There's a shy way right there. And oh, uh, we got this deal. Well, one more thunderbolt isn't gonna kill anything. But at least helps in some damage, even though these shy ways appear to be pretty resistant to thunder. Not total immunity like uh, the Octavator is, but still. We gotta get rid of these things quickly before they run off. Oh wow, that hit hard. Fucking <laughs> 282. Wow, 68 coins as well. That's a lot. Anywho, um, run through all this and. 
barrel right there to just do stuff. There's one more shy way to fight. There's a recovery mushroom right there. Let me take out this guy. Uh, there's another ribbon. Um, I guess I'm just going to blast it. I guess I'm just gonna jump. I guess I got some points to play around, so, uh... Not that that makes a difference. Let's do Crusher. I'll do Crusher on a shy way, because why not? Based. Oh, and now you're still pretty resistant. So... These guys are just completely resistant to magic. Their jumps seem to do something before. I'm gonna crush her again. I mean, Christ, I have 65. I had 65 max flower points. Like, good lord. Might as well use them. And there we go. Elixir. Sweet stuff. If I get up this, yeah, I can get up that. But the real reason is to use this trampoline. And we end up right at Kara Sewers of all places. But the main reason for coming is primarily to get to this box that we couldn't reach initially. Right there is some cricket jam. Alright, so with that, we're just gonna jump off and, uh... Make my way back to, uh, uh oh. These guys are so easy, you may as well thunderbolt everything. I get a few points at least, but I kind of want to breeze through this because it's kind of a joke at this. At this level, it's kind of a joke. See if I can quickly get through and get myself into a position to actually get out into the world map. Because that cricket jam is actually for uh, Procucius. So let's just fly on over here. Jump. I'm out of here. At the tadpole pond. Talk to Frogfuchus. There is no there isn't another melody we can learn automatically, so this is the main reason for coming. This was actually Frogfuchus' wish, so use him. It has. And those sounds mean you have 10 frog coins for giving him cricket jam. Which is decent because frog coins are kind of rare. Although it's not enough to really get anything else in Frog Beast's coin shop. Primarily because uh, I already used someone in EXP booster, but now I just gotta go all the way back to Land's End and start everything over again after 10 minutes of recording. Alright, so all we really gotta do is just pull a repeat. Let's see if I can just get over there. There we go, let's get rolling. Well, that didn't work. That worked. Alright, let's actually fight these chow. Because, uh, regardless, all the experience helps. Especially with such a nasty spike like that. 
can get rid of it was. I'm gonna need every piece I can get. And Toad still hit level 17. Awesome stuff. And uh, I'm pretty sure it's special. Yeah, it has to be special. Even though our HP is still very, very high. Might as well go for it. More chatter fight. Let's keep going. I'm just gonna Thunderbolt. I'm mainly gonna actually use these things, primarily because I still have a flower box in my inventory. And uh, I may as well get that used up and push my uh, flower points even higher. Oh, that was a mistake. Oh well. Yeah, that Vigor isn't really going to do anything, dude. I'm just going to jump on you and be done with it. Game over. Get wrecked, loser! With that, we just move on to the next area, which is full of Gekkets. And I may as well just blast every enemy I can. Jump on the shy away, because it's uh, resistant to everything else, and I'm going to try a crusher on one of these things, see if it does anything. Eh, 100's not bad, I guess. A little more malice basic attack, that's for sure. And speaking of Mallow, he reaches level 18 with uh, all that, and I get Star Rain. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, it looks like there's a lot of these things, and... I mean, I can just keep blasting through them, even though it is going to take much more time off the clock, because I am at 12 and a half minutes recording. And Mario reaches level 20. Sweet, just 10 more levels and I'm at the cap. And in his case, uh, it, it definitely is HP. It has to be. No, it's special. All right, special it is. I'll just blow up all these geckos and be done with it. Same thing over and over again, because it works. In my case, I have one last jump, and now I have, oh, 300 damage. That's the first time I've seen that in a while. And Geno hits level 17. It's a cool stuff, and I get Geno Flash. That doesn't work. That's the one. Okay, so... There's all that. Oops, I completely forgot to put in my flower box. Oh well. Oh, now I think about it, one thing I should also note. Um, level 20. Now we're actually at level 20. Every level up past this point, past level 20, is all pretty much just two points apiece for every single stat. Only the bonuses do anything of any significance that is randomized. And I keep freaking forgetting to do my flower box. Well, that's interesting. Didn't realize the uh, jackets were confused by default. But, uh, 
Yeah, every stat from this point onward is just two each. And this goes for everybody. It's just all the bonuses just take a total nosedive. Um... I, actually, no, I think it is the bonuses that just take a total nosedive. It's all, um... Like, one at base, as well. It's just significantly different. I keep fucking... I keep doing it! And you just attack yourself. I have seen everything in the game at this point. Well, apart from a couple things. Like, the actual progression. But in terms of uh, internal, uh, just random battles, I've officially seen an enemy attack itself. What a way to live. Okay, I keep freaking talking and I keep being stupid. Can I just get my freaking flower box used so I can put this sucker up to 70 points? Cool stuff. Alright, so that's all done. I have a lot of able to use. Wow. But, uh, there's one more Gekkit. And I'm just going to fight him, even though we're at 16 minutes recording time. And be done with it. There we go! All's done. That didn't work. Oh, I have to use the last one. Well, that's stupid. There we go, got it right. There we go, it's all done, and uh, screw it, I'm just gonna jump up, save the game here, and I am cutting this episode immediately as we're at 17 minutes. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.